So this is our first number. This is our second number. Right here, so that's first our defining. So right here, the first sentence, the difference of two numbers is 16. What equation could I write with our variables to show the difference? Yes, x minus y equals 16. There's our first equation. The second sentence says the greater number is 5 less than 4 times the smaller number. Okay, 5 less than, right here, 4 times, right, the smaller number. What represents the smaller number? Four times the smaller number. You can say the y. Okay, so if this is y. How do I show the greater number is five less than four times the smaller? Huh? Yeah. It would be five less than four y. No. Yeah. No. For, okay, if y is the smaller, who's the greater number? X. Okay, x is the greater. X is, is whenever I see the word is, that's equals. How do I show five less than four times the smaller? Five minus four. Yeah, five minus four y. Actually, it's going to be flipped around. So our x is four y minus five. Okay. Now, which method should we use here? Substitution. Because the x is isolated. This is going to get substituted into the first equation. Steve, you can write that. All right. So if I substitute that into the first equation, we're using substitution. What would we write here? What's the what number? I don't know what number you're referring to. Four y minus five. Then what? Minus y. Yeah. So now you need to do what? It's because we're so combining like terms. Yeah, we're we're solving for y. All right, so if I have 4y minus a y, that's not going to give me a total of 3y minus 5 equals 16. So plus 5 plus 5, we get 3y equals 21. So that means y equals 7, yes. We need to find the two numbers, okay? So if y is 7, how do I get to my x? Put it back into the first equation. x minus 7 equals 16. So what is the x? 23. All right, start off with defining our x and our y. Based on the first sentence, it says three apples and four bananas cost 485. What are the two unknowns? What could our x be? X could be apples, so x equals apples. What could our y be then? Bananas. Okay, so there is defined. Now, we're writing an equation for this first sentence. Three apples and four bananas cost 485. How would that be? 3x plus 4y mm -hmm. equals 485. Yep. There's the first sentence. 
The second sentence is three apples and ten bananas cost eight seventy five. So what equation? Yeah, three x plus ten y equals eight point seven five. All right. Now, what method should we use here? Yeah, elimination. Which variable should we try to eliminate? X. Yeah, the x. Okay, how do what do we need to do to limit? Yeah, multiply by negative one. Okay, so when I make this a negative one, this becomes negative three x minus ten y equals a negative eight seventy five. So I'm adding to eliminate the x's four y plus a negative ten y. That's going to give me a negative six y equals but it's four eighty five or four dollars and eighty five cents minus eight dollars and seventy five cents. It's gonna be a negative what? Okay. Oh. We're adding this and this together. Okay, so now what are we going to do? Divide by negative six. So the ban bananas, because it says find the cost of each apple and banana. For the bananas. All right. Oh, hold on. And then, wait, is Brandon taking the test? I think he is. I think he is. I know. I think he is. So we go back to the, do y'all want to plug it back in the first or second equation? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that would be 3x plus 4 parentheses 0.65 for the y equals 4.85. So the 3x plus 2, what is it, 260? equals 4.85. So now we're solving for x. If you subtract the 260 first, then divide by the 3, that will give you the x, which is your bananas. I think they're testing. Let me double check. It's Jacob and he came back. I think I I know Aiden is. I think Brandon is too. Alright, I got that right. Did you get seventy five cents? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So, I'm four. It says birth age plus Ernie's age is 30. We need to define who X and Y could be. Yeah, X is Bert, Ernie is Y. Are we allowed to use other letters than X and Y? Yes, you can. So, Bert's age. Plus Ernie's age 
close up twice, Ernie's age is 30. How would I show first age plus twice Ernie's? Yeah, x plus 2y, yeah, equals 30. Twice th Ernie's is two, two times, so x plus 2y equals 30. There it is. Then it says in the second sentence, like break it down a sentence at a time. So the second is three times Bert's age plus eight times Ernie's age is 108. How do I show three times Bert's age? Yeah, 3x plus 8y equals 108. All right, so the best method here would be elimination, but we don't. We need to create a term to eliminate. Which variable should we try to eliminate? What we have to do to eliminate the x? Yeah, times a negative three. I'm just gonna rewrite it underneath here. So negative three x minus six y equals negative ninety. Now you can eliminate your x's. So this will turn into, I'm going to come up here, 2y equals 18. So our y is 9. All right, so how do I get to Bernie's age? Because we need x and the y. We got Ernie's age. How do we get to Bert's age? Plug it back into the first equation, guys. X plus 2 times 9 equals 30. So you're going to finish number 4. Where's the back? Finding the Ernie's age. So you can use different variables, but we need to always define an X and a Y. Define the two, two things being compared or discussed in this sentence. So on number five here, the first sentence starts off as the cost of mission to the carnival was $39 for a group of eight children and three adults. So what could X represent? Children. Children tickets. And the Y would be the adult tickets. So how do I write an equation to show that a group of eight children and three adults cost $39? Yep, 8X plus 3Y equals 39. There's our first sentence. The second sentence, admission was $43 for a group of 11 children and two adults. So 11x for 11 children and two adults, 2y equals 43. To do elimination, you're going to have to multiply both equations. To me, the easiest variable to eliminate, the smallest one, would be the y's. Which means we need to multiply the top equation by 2 to make the y 6y. And the bottom equation by a negative 3. So 16x plus 6y equals 78. This would be negative 33x minus 6y equals a negative 129. Now you can eliminate the y's.
Okay, so I'm going to have you try the back. I'm going to give you some hints as just to make sure you're labeling the two variables, the two parts correctly, and see if you get the first sentence and second sentence equation correct. Okay. And when you add here, remember the y's are what should eliminate. Okay. So we should end up with 17x equals a negative 51. X equals what? Negative 3? Oh, yeah, this should be negative, sorry. Yeah, X equals 3. So there's our X. We just got to plug it back in and get the Y. So if I go to the first equation, this would be 8 times 3 plus 3y equals 39. So 24 plus 3y equals 39. Subtract the 24, 39, we get really... It's 24. 3y equals 15. So y equals 3 as well. So we have to just define on the side what equals what. Like the x equals children. Like we have to write that on the Yeah, side. you have to tell me what variable is what. Yeah, that's the first thing we need. Do we have to do it if it's like the number ones, like the sum of two numbers is 92? Do we have to do that? Or is it just because it's numbers? Because like, then it would just be x equals a number. Yeah, x is just a number, y is a number. So we don't have to define those. Kinds. No. Mm -mm. All right, so. All right, so we're going to let you focus on the back. Uh -huh. I'll put up, like, just some hints as you're working just to see if you're on the right track. Like, the, I would break it down a sentence at a time. Okay. Like, here, they're talking about selling bicycles and tricycles. Okay. So that's our two unknowns. The number of bicycles is one less than five times the number of tricycles. So it's bicycles are x, one less than five times the tricycles. That would be 5y minus 1. That's our first sentence. The second sentence, all the bicycles and tricycles together total 154 wheels. So x plus y equals 154. Wait, technically, a bicycle has two or three wheels. Wouldn't you have to factor that in? Yeah. Wouldn't it be two oh, yeah. x and then three y? Yes. Well, the one, the first one is not talking. It would be for the second equation, but not necessarily the first. Because the first is just the total. It's not talking about the wheels. The easiest method on this first one is substitution. Yeah. 
So I'll try to see if you can set up the at least one of the equations right and then pick a method to solve. Like I did the first equation, five hot dogs, that's 5x. I mean, five hamburgers, sorry, 5x and four hot dogs, 4y equals 1950. You need to write an equation for the second one. And this would be elimination, but you're going to have to um, multiply by a negative one. Oh, no, not a negative one. You're going to multiply by a negative. You're going to have to eliminate the x's or y's. you got to get a common coefficient. Eight is like the quarries problem in your flip book. Okay. And then... On nine, since they're talking about twigs and flowers. I would define mm -hmm. So if there's a total of nine objects of twigs and flowers, that would be x plus y equals nine. And then she pays a dollar for each twig, three dollars for each flower, spent fifteen dollars. Dollar for each twig would be just one x plus three y equals fifteen. Did you pick up that worksheet? And then this one is slightly different because they're talking about perimeter. This is the formula for perimeter. So you can, if you want to let x be the length and y be the width, you could do that. But you got to write the length is two more than twice, two times twice the width. So that means the length would equal twice the width plus two. So the last one would be the I think the fastest way is substitution. If you use the formula. Because I can substitute this twenty two for the P and then I can substitute this in for the L. Did you get that? Mm -hmm. I know.